Okay. Recording's up. No frames dropping. We seem to have those technical issues behind us. What's up, friends? Uh, it's been a few days. Okay, so tech support. I think that's another engineer in 15 hours. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, relay destruction. This was the cancelling of a hidden event. And then just a standard smash and grab. I think this is Bravo Squad. Yep. And there are, this is Alpha. Against the elders, we find nice. nothing but sex. No one got injured. Where should we chuck that engineer? I might even throw that NG here into New India. I mean, I don't have really anywhere else to put them, so. I could put soldiers here. But I don't think I have mag weapons that I could actually give them. GTS is open. Integrated warfare will wait a little bit. Lightning strike will wait. It's all about stay with me next as soon as we can. Then tech infiltrations. Jammer is getting trained there on Fiddle Fritz. Only one supply, but 440 coming in 11 days. You would order us, Commander. We will undertake a new means of disrupting the elders and their false vision. Like only 13 intel. It's, it's nothing. 39 supplies, extra bit of aim, that's nice. Improved combat intelligence, that's only 11 days. And this one is hacking. Is there by any chance the Charlie specialist? There we go, perfect. And if he gets wounded, that's fine. We'll get the job done. So that is doubly good because it's an extra bit of hacking on a specialist, even if it is the Charlie team specialist. And it's going to improve his combat intelligence. Recruitment in New Arctic. This feels good. The income is starting to get rolling now, but we do have a faceless problem that I need to address at some point. If it wasn't for having both my squads infiltrating right now, uh, I would be sending out a trooper. Just out of curiosity, do I have a mag weapon that I haven't sent out? I don't think so. There's only a stutter mag available. What's up, Waldo? So, if there is a technical, Charlie technical, no, we still need a Charlie technical. <clears throat> but one of the things that we're doing this campaign is we're moving away from just hiring raw recruits. And wherever possible, I'm actually trying to buy the recruits from the black market because they're higher level. Avenger plotting new course. What's in the black market? Is there a technical available? Market is open. Only an assault. I don't need one of those. What I need is a scientist more than anything, but we've already liquidated pretty much everything, so. Basic research is being done. We need only 50 supplies to be able to start with advanced mag weapons. I mean, 12 Illyrium cores. If I just sell two of them, that gets us most of the way. Then we'd be violating one of our cardinal rules of never selling an Illyrium core, but. Under the circumstances, I think it's justifiable. Uh, that's only because it's allowing us to get started with advanced mag weapons. Otherwise, I have to wait the full what, seven days. Six days to find a lead. Nope. Okay, 10 to 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 of us versus 10 to 12 of them. Seize the resource cache. What, what hints are there here that we are having to tag supplies as they get extracted? Or is it one of those concealed start? Let's say where it is. Regardless though, I think we're still in that phase now of the enemy force level has crept up and our own strength hasn't crept up that much. So until we get full mags and full body armor rolled out to everybody, 
Easy does it. I am seeing three mag weapons here though, so that's good. Something about streaming and makes my nose itch. Position is obscured. This is the more difficult mission, no shinobi, so I guess that means Cassie is on point. Moving. At least I think that this map is easier to, to work with than the, the, the depot map. <coughs> Train depot map. Okay, two drones. Would be annoying if I'm forced to engage on them, but that's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, I, I, I'm fairly certain that I removed the doubles that I spotted on the previous stream. Solid copy. Copy that. Next, I just need Kakabilo to turn up and ask me to change some small thing about the size of his beard. It seems to be the, it seems to be the routine now for every stream. Uh, can you just give my guy a little haircut, please? Uh, yeah, well, fuck. They found us. Specialist, what are the heck chances? Should be fairly good. So we'll destroy that one and hack the other one, I think. And I can actually 62% to shoot, 5 75 to arc pulsar. I think that's an arc pulsar usage. That's it. Well, we can go for the control enemy. I mean, I've got so many lads here Not to take it down if it fails. So now, what are my resources to destroy this thing? A grenadier, a technical, a gunner. I think I might actually need to hollow target this thing. Because they legitimately are tough to hit. Uh, unless Kekabila here has a pistol. 2 to 4 armor piercing, 97%. 62. I'd prefer to not put rapid targeting on cooldown if I don't have to. 50%, that's really low. 70%. No problem, boss. I think we'll try to feed the kill to P-Flex here if we can. Yeah, it looks like we don't need to use hollow targeting. This needs to do five damage. Did you see that one? On Overwatch. Overwatch. Yes, dead boss. Perfect. That's ex exactly the two that you would want to get marked. What's over there? Kind problem, boss. This is good. It gives the rest, of the rest of the squad time to get up here and join us. Can't complain. On your order. Also, we had the legacy music for the last couple of missions. Let's go to Enemy Unknown for this one. And then back to XCOM 2 for the, the one after that. On it. Okay, I'll go. There's something out there. Hello, Lost Boys. Long have we been up for? 10 minutes. Set time. 35 minutes. Okay, let's keep creeping up. I think that way we can creep up. I guess that'll be okay. I'm going. Klingt machbar. 
roll it. Moving to position. Yeah, slow and steady, Rolling lads. Up. Overwatch. Into fire shots. Four turns for Overwatch. evac. So we can wait a little longer before we call Overwatch. evac. I'll throw it in the usual spot in the middle here. As soon as the lost turn up, like they do now, this now means we can get a bit more aggro. And I noticed that we, we saw that there was a... a big lad at the back there, Muton. Damn, not the side of the map I would want us to get spotted and there's the first shield bearer of the campaign we need to start getting those out preferentially oh, fuck off god they're activating a shield on on reveal that's super annoying okay so now because of this pod showing up here okay we have to kiss that one goodbye i reckon unless tech disaster goes and grabs it but no. Probably set those two on fire. What about my grenadier? I don't think you can destroy that pillar of cover, but I can destroy his cover, I'm fairly sure. I can handle that. Yeah. Is that actually not going to work? Probably. I'm focusing on killing this pod. The main thing is killing the shield bearer now with direct fire. So Head that down. there should open up fire along that angle. Okay, shield bearer out in the open. That give kicker below. Uh, I can't see the shield bearer from there. Where do we see the shield bearer from? Doesn't look like we can. Problem with Kikabila being so slow. Let's roll. It's probably still worth holo targeting the sergeant though. Or I could just two to four damage pistol that lost dasher. I think it's a better option. What's up, Brazzers? Setting these two on fire is the best chance to control them. That does put Speedman, though, in very close proximity to all these lost. God, look at that. Nine hit points, two armor. If you say so. I'm gonna use the pistol just to save the ammo of the old SMG. It has to be dead. It is worth bearing in mind that running up here is gonna aggro another pod, so I think that one is gone. Let's get evac going and really focus on the shield bearer. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Could Oscar Mike, but it doesn't really help me this turn. Hmm. So going here and putting those two on fire is what I want to do, but I worry that moving up here, they're going to the pod. Heading well, out. there's enough lost on the field that we can be fairly safe. So this does flank Scorcher to the shield bearer. Awesome, they're both burning. I suppose I should have waited until he was killed, but there's no guarantee we're going to kill the shield bearer at all. Like, you think me, I can't even see him from there. God, the line of sight is annoying the shit out of me. I'm going to save and reload quickly. Because he's, I mean, it should be just right in the open and we can't see him. 
It's like the third episode in a row where what looks like should be obvious line of sight just screws us over. That shit. God damn it. So here we need 14 points of damage. I mean, I can double command some of it, doesn't, doesn't really help. The load times are pretty good, yeah. I'm uh, using an SSD. I should hope so. Now, overwatching doesn't help because the lost act first. First thing we ought to do now is a protocol speedman because now there's pretty much no chance of killing this shield bearer. Natürlich. Shield is doing five damage now. I could have sworn it would do three damage. So I was. Ugh, again, I didn't check its damage. I thought it was still the basic shield bearer. I it does three damage. With plus one on crit. That one does five. So if he rolls, if he hits and crits, it'll kill Scorcher. I hope he shoots at a lost. I think I should just accept uh, whatever whatever loot we can get at all. Any loot will be great. Interesting. He's shooting at. Still Speedman looks like. 75 misses. Oh, that was a lost he was shooting at. Kill the shield bearer. My god, that shield bearer is tough to deal with. Destroys cover again, but it doesn't help. I might just rocket the fucker just because I don't. Fuck, it's so hard to deal with him. If that muton shows up, I don't know what we're supposed to do. I think I could destroy his cover, hollow target him, and then. Precision shot. I can handle that. I don't think it's worth a rocket just for a single shield bearer. Get ready for a surprise! This will call more lost, which helps us. Although I bet now that I've destroyed his cover, my sniper won't be able to see him. Okay, good. Didn't work that way. I would love a big precision shot crit here with armor piercing. I could even one shot him if I get high enough damage and a crit. we need there still two more points of damage that's very doable now I could even run and gun and finish more for the SMG but that seems like a, a waste of run and gun 87% to kill there that's pretty good the last will finish off that sergeant I have to imagine Should just shoot that snake Eighty-one percent, huh? Kein Problem, boss. Schon beeindruckt. Honestly, if I only get like three or four of these supply crates and that shield bearer corpse, I'll, I'll, I'll handle that. We are so, so, so undergunned right now. 
That's just the phase of the campaign we're in. We, we kind of already knew that. Super dangerous. What else could I do that? I could move forward with Osiris if I use run and gun. Or, um, what's that? The extra mobility thing. But that sergeant is hunkering, so he's going to be impossible to hit. Getting in close. Just going to have to put Cassie and Holmes right here. Uh, not guaranteed. There's a percentage chance that the fire wears off. Hardly did anything. Raised because, of course. At least we're all nicely grouped up, so we can kind of count on a poison if the snake survives. Fuck's sake, man! This has gone tits up so no quickly. Problem, Shows you how undergunned we are. Oof, Cassie's gonna get punched. So bear in mind, our gunner does not have combatives. Now, just hopefully that sergeant doesn't shoot and kill my assault trooper. Okay, still burning, thank goodness I can't shoot. There's a nice quad lost flamethrower waiting here. We can flame all of these nerds. Just need to get the right angle. I think probably from about here should be the right angle. So that means Cassie. Once again, just forget about that stuff. Okay, I'll go. Let's see, the sergeant ends in one alien turn starts. So he's just going to burn to death. So that means I can kill Lost. One to two damage. One to two damage. Five. Who's carrying the... Aha! The Fulton Harness. So, Iron Legend. Grab the loot. On the next turn you can evac that corpse. We'll start making our way towards the evac. God, this mission felt super scary. On the move. That ought to do it. I hope I don't get this wrong. I got it wrong. Curses by one tile. Time to burn. We have multiple targets down. Seems doable. Impressed yet? My ammo's running low! What happens if we are super unlucky and that sergeant just isn't burning? I don't want to take that chance. We've got two uses of command, let's use one. Whoa, he has an issue. Try to deal with that in a second. Who's more dangerous to me? The sergeant, without a doubt. It said ends in one turn, so I, I mean the way I understand that is it, it would end after he burns on the next turn. You can never be sure with these bloody descriptions. Shooting Osiris. I uh, took it, what? Minimum damage, unlucky. Now we fought two little drones and one little advent pod and there's like three other advent pods on the map and this has been insanely difficult. Just illustrates how right now we're behind the force curve. We need to get those advanced uh, mag weapons done. 
It'll change things in a big way. Well, we can get out in one turn, and I think this is all we're going to get is <laughs> three of these, four of these. Need a ranger on this mission. Whatever you say. You know that was good. And a shinobi. We needed a shinobi. And the move that is obvious in retrospect is that I should have given the mag pistol to the sharpshooter rather than the assault trooper. I mean, it has worked nicely on the assault trooper, but it was more needed on the sharpshooter. I'm going. 20 mobility, 1 to 2 damage, 1 to 2 damage, 1 to 2 damage. Um, I think area suppression works if you if you are lucky enough to choose the right last. Like if you suppress a group of five of them, you have to hope the one that you chose to suppress acts last. Because what often happens is the one that you choose to suppress, he just happens to act first, and then the area suppression is moved, but removed. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Back in. I'm ready. Let's do this. Well, look, at least we're getting a little bit of XP from killing zombies, so it's not all bad. I could try the AoE suppression here. Be interesting. Okay, these are all basic lost. There's no lost bashes in here, are there? Eighty-six missed. Put that on the on the pile with the uh, the other eighty-one percent that we missed. Roger that. Suppressing hostile. Cassie is legit in getting killed. Da uh, danger here. Heal herself up. Get back in the fight. Isn't it great the changes that Longwall the Chosen makes? It makes the lost feel like they're actually a threat. Yes, Osiris, keep shooting. That's three. That's four. And he missed two out of four. No, oh, no. Um, our technical, that rocket you've got, it's time for that rocket. Don't you motherfucker dare. Don't you dare. Okay, shoo. The first quick check is everybody within extraction range. So otherwise I'm just going to leave. So starting with P-Flex, he can get out. Cassie can get out. Agent can get out. This was terrifying. Got it covered. Uh, I'm not going to bother with corpses unless they're right next to me. Just watch my back. 
stepping off. If you don't use that, I imagine that'll mean you get stuck here this turn. If anyone happens to have a corpse that they can extract next to them, then by all means grab that. Dude, that was surprisingly scary. Let's maybe get a kill before we go. What's the rocket spread? It's a ridiculous amount of spread. Ooh, nice one. So we got a quarter of the supplies on offer. It just shows you how much harder these missions are than the other type of smash and grab. Well, that's one shield bearer secured. A 24 more needed if we're going to have three full eight-man squads all with stasis vests. One day. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest... My soldiers feel very underleveled. I think I haven't been as aggressive with taking missions this campaign as I probably could have, but that was a, a conscious choice of managing uh, vigilance levels. The upside is we already have that radio tower mission that we can do. Wait, this is Scorcher, so shouldn't he take Rast? Special flamethrower shot that does limited damage but force enemies to change their position. Trap aim. I still think fire on the hole is worth it though, because he is still going to be shooting two rockets. On the next turn though, your flamethrower can now disorient and panic enemies. We'll take that. Activating a flamethrower, small smoke cloud, defensive bonus. I think you have to take Shredder. Phosphorus will take that to damage mechs and shred armor. That's wonderful. Flamethrower increased range. Why do we have to take that one? Activates your next use does not cost an action. That's great. Because we can quick burn and shred. Even with his aim being so crap, we can hope that you can hollow target, shred a target. And then firestorm. Once per battle, attack all units in a complete circle around your position. Also grants immunity to fight. That's actually not that great, is it? I mean, once he gets low profile and combat fitness, he'll get upwards of 80 aim, I think, at that level. That's probably too early to decide. Here we take rapid deployment so he can throw a, a shape charge and then still be able to shoot. We always take stunner, bonus to hit. Gunners take combatives. We saw previously combatives isn't perfect, but better than nothing. Speaking of better than nothing. actually a good point yeah so if i'm but how, how often am i going to be having enemies completely around me in a circle you might sometimes have a number of them in front of you but like never totally around you but that does sound like the, the ultimate anti-lost ability like you know you just run up to all the lost set fire to the whole area around you and then the lost just can't do shit really Iron Legend. As a specialist, I want you to bond with the technical, if at all possible. The Scorcher. We'll get 6.2, we'll get there. Sharpshooter with the gunner. Let's see, 6.9, he's almost there. Balea needs to bond with Charlie Technical, which we don't even have. We start scanning for a mission again. Probably, because Bravo Squad isn't too beat up. We've got six out of eight available. And this other mission will be done soon. We can over infiltrate that. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. No, don't repeat research. 20 days, oof. Commander, we've already dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project. However, we can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. No specialist. No specialist. Lightning strike.
Well, uh, well, I'm assuming that with quick burn, remember you throw fire behind yourself, oh, but it, it makes you immune to fire. So yeah, you're right. You can run in. Well, I think you might be able to activate quick burn, use firestorm, and then move back. I don't think you can blue move forward, quick burn, firestorm. I think that would end your turn. But it was pretty cool. I mean, if, if we're going to put the, you know, let's say it's not just lost, but if you have a bunch of organics around you, like sectoids or snakes or whatever, and uh, you have that chance to set them on fire, and you'll be able to damage the mechs as well. Just, uh, even if just for the fact that I've never tried that ability before, we kind of have to. Uh, what are we doing? And episode length, 35 minutes. It's, it's a, a double mission episode. I just wish the chance to have your enemies panic with that fire ability was higher. I think it's 50%. Man. I think I want to dogleg this one just to make sure we don't have anybody on our, on our backsides. How likely is it that there might be enemies in that part of the map? It's not that likely. It's not very often you get to fight in this little atrium area. When you do, it gives you a nice line of sight. Affirmative. Roger that. Hearing snakes. That audio cue. It sounds like it's the left. And if I move the screen, the audio cue becomes on the right. And it disappeared. I think that's a dead giveaway that there's a pod with snakes in around here. Let's see whether I'm right about that. Moving on target location. Enemy sighted. Yeah, who would have thought that echo location would be one of the skills that an XCOM commander needs? There's no... There's no... We should have windows up here for the sharpshooter. Good to go. C'est toi. Move, move, move. Roger. And I quite like this approach if I'm able to play this so that we can activate around here and then push up that way onto the relay. Damn, unlucky coming towards us. I really don't want to have to open up on this pod. It's just a two little two little enemy pod. Let's keep moving. I really want to find that snake pod. I assume they're over here somewhere. Roger that. Okay, so the chances that the snake pot is there behind us is really small. Right, does that justify now opening up on that little two-man pod? I think it probably does. I would mind keep getting recon. Moving on target location. Roger that. I reckon we can set up a hell of an ambush here. Maybe even go loud now this turn. What are your chances? Ooh, very low. Posizioni confermata. Occhi aperti. Occhi aperti. Now we need to rapid target the sergeant because he's obviously quite hard to hit. And I think if Booze will open up with his pistol. Just four to six damage. It's not bad, isn't it? 
will badly wound the officer, and then Rose GMT can run him gun, finish off one of them. Orders confirmed on the move. And Wang just needs to make sure she hits her Overwatch shot. Overwatch. Oof, that sounds meaty, doesn't it? Boom. We're in the Seven damage from a pistol. Very, very nice. Oh. Check it before you get too close. Beautiful. Now we move up a bunch of the lads through here. Reveal ourselves this at this angle, probably with our sharpshooter, actually. These lads take cover facing that way. Everyone else kicks open the door with a big surprise, motherfucker. Hey, she there. Yeah, Danny, I want to play some tonight, actually, some Helldivers. Really go to the Discord and give an at here and ask who's down for, for Helldivers tonight. Advanced defense. That's all right. Watch. We have to extract, aren't we? But I think as soon as we're fighting around this area, we will call in the extract. Flammenwerfer, trooper. So what are the chances that my sniper will have a shot from here? Not great. I can handle that. I want one of these corpses. Not particularly. Besides, this group here needs a turn to reload. Ready to engage. Locked and loaded. Scanning. Je reste en observation. I'm on it. Monto la guardia. It was seven to nine, wasn't it? It wasn't ten to twelve enemies. It was seven to nine. So probably seven left. One, two, three, four, plus a three enemy pod. Scanning. I'm not going to get my nice crossfire now. We just stop blue moving here and overwatching until one of these guys blunder, one of these patrols blunder into us. Affirmative, moving out. I think that's the play. So that, that gets us quite close to the objective. Let's move. And this hopefully gives us a round of overwatch. Seems doable. I'm trusting you here. Sonin alerta. Sonin alerta. I'm on it. I'm going. Affirmative. Covering now. On overwatch. Missed. Missed. Is it a scout we're shooting at? 250% both missed. Yes, Slavonwerfer down, that's nice. He's out in the open. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That other pod is literally moving around here as well, so it's so close. That's the end of the episode warning. Let's do this. Let's pull in you back here. I'll just keep blue moving. Quite soon we'll be able to get get eyes on the objective actually from here. Ah. Wow. 
where is if he moves to that position he's going to have range probably to over here so that's not a particularly good place to overwatch from i think what we do is we just put booze on the next turn in a position where he can actually shoot at the target The Overwatch worked nicely for us last time. Number 10, so the next turn, Legend can be in position. Let's do some uh, I'm ready. slicey dicing. Come get some. Moving to Overwatch. I hope for another good round of Overwatch like that, but I assume that this officer is just going to tuck himself into that high ground. Mm. What are the chances he's gonna rocket? Not very high. 32%. Okay, we can go in there now. We can run and gun point blank shoot. There would be an there's still another three enemy pod out here. So maybe I'm better off just move, blue moving and overwatching. The question is how do we kill that lad? Without using run and gun, because the run and gun is almost certainly gonna aggro the other pod. But then it's whatever pod, it's three plus three active from the other pod, plus the two from reinforcements. I, I think let's flash him. I'm in pretty good cover. And then we just see where the other pod is. Sounds like a sick toy. Oh, Naga, those sniper snakes are so annoying. So what are the chances my assault trooper can run and gun and be in a position where he can do something useful? Should I watch there? I can turn that into a 63. And what's the damage? 7. Good chance, only 26. It's not very likely, but it's worth a try. Oh, my grenadier can destroy his cover and then the sharpshooter has an open shot. No, I didn't give him the shape charges. 63, 31, not very likely, but worth a try. Right hit! Just didn't crit. Oh, one hit point. Additional movement point to guess B. Overwatch. Fuck, I have to kill this thing, or at least I need to flashbang it. Run a gun, point blank, shoot. Yeah, that snake is far too dangerous. Five to eight damage, 58 accuracy, even with being near death from the red fog. Six turns to do to destroy the target. I think it's fine. Let's so leave the overwatchers for these lads. And they've dropped right between the overwatch, so that's good. Another sergeant, man. And Wang has been exceptional with her overwatch. It's been really good. Okay, just raise a zombie, please. Don't panic someone, that'll be annoying. Do I have a specialist who has the panic removal? I'm not so sure. Oh, that's begging for a rocket, those two. With pleasure. Boom. Oh, nice. Excellent. Okay, so... Martin can give mobility to Pod Fox. Killing the sergeant's going to be hard. I think I'll point blank there. And then, if Gianti point blank kills the sectoid, then we get our shinobi back. Killing the other sectoid is the easy part. 
killing this nerd, that's the hard part. Now, how do we do that? The best way to kill him is... Yeah, with the flache. That might make it harder to kill the sectoid, but it's just... It's just one sectoid. Impressed yet? And he is out in the open. Seventy percent failed. Whatever you say. If you say oh, so. a long shot from Quad Fox, but her aim is nice. It's dead. It has to be dead. Excellent. Right, two sectoids out, that's good. Bearing in mind, we do want to be eventually be in a position to build. Let's see, advanced expanded. What's out of that? So nice. So eventually, I want to be in a position to build eight mine shields. Certain missions will make it very worthwhile to have a full squad with mine shields. And we're fighting against the warlock. Giving your entire squad mine shields just makes the warlock not a problem. The Warlock's most powerful ability is his ability to just talk until you lose the will to live. Go, go, go! Already there. Oh, you commander! You puny More of them coming in. This is okay, he said something. And I think you'll find, in reference to my previous point, commander, that I'm like, oh, just shut the fuck up. And I have the hush little chosen mod, but it doesn't seem to work. Easy enough. I need to check the config. There's the in-game config. I need to check. Where's that officer? I want that percentage chance to be a solid zero. Sure, I'll bring him in. Didn't we say that we need to check whether extracting the Flammenwerfer still crashes the game? Okay. Yep, oh, quad fox disappeared. Yeah, yeah. The flame of everything fucks it up. Yeah, you can't you can't extract the flame of Um we don't have a Fulton Harness charge, but we'll try that in future. Maybe it'll work with a Fulton Harness, but trying to carry one out still still causes it to crash. I think that's fixed in twenty point I think it's fixed in point twenty three. But we're on uh, 2.0, so. What's over there? People <laughs> actually in the evac zone. No. Let's wait. So we expect the mech to go into Overwatch. It does not, it just moves. Heading home. There's no way in blue move that I can grab a corpse and get out. Go, 
Okay, I'll go. Hotting shot for funsies. That armor is tough. Must I? The, the, the power differential between oh, Alpha and Bravo squads is you. remarkable, Our isn't it? Is We've just done two missions back to back with Bravo and then Alpha. It's almost as though handpicking the best of the best soldiers and putting them in a squad that get all the best equipment is, you know. The victory today is a minor footnote in history. Mm. A small buff on the path of salvation. MVP there, I think uh, Quad Fox, our gunner actually, she hit most of her Overwatch shots. Our troops continue to exceed it's a good point too, Mutons are so hard to deal with. Impressive, Commander. Uh, Bravo's Alpha, uh, uh, Bravo's Assault is actually a higher level. Interesting. Autoloader, that's nice. Scope, Viper, Sectoid. Speaking of mods, let's quickly check the mod settings for Hus Hush Little Chosen, if it's actually here. Narrative control. No greetings when narrative playing. Bradford narratives, none. Let's try no narratives at all. I think that might be your soldiers talking, which I don't want that. If it's, oh, that's a different one. Hang on. Hush Little Chosen. Dynamic narrative chance, 0%. Block all mission narratives. Save. Cool, 56 minute long episode, a nice one, two solid missions. The smash and grab was really, really, really difficult. Let's see, four vigilance, four strength, I have to start moving out of there. Look, it's four strength everywhere, except for here. Vigilance one, vigilance one, strength four coming down, that's nice. So pretty much as soon as we have the advanced mag weapons done, I think we should launch that radio control tower mission and see if we can't then maybe liberate uh, West Asia. With strength four, I think we need to pull out of here now. So we're starting operations in New India. Putting the NG here means we're going to get nice supplies for this whole next month. But when these regions get attacked, though, we're not going to have an extra soldier helping us. But I mean, it's going to make 20% extra of, well, 82 supplies in only 48 hours. So it's almost this region alone is going to, with the engineer, is going to do like almost 400. Cool. Nice little episode. For those of you watching on YouTube, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Ugh. Whew. No missions are active right now, actually. We're probably going to lose a good quarter of that. We have enough basic mag weapons available for Alpha and Bravo squads. I'm just wondering maybe whether I should just, just, put, just put two more rifles. Or maybe just one or two more technical, um, some sort of weapon that I can put soldiers in here to start rooting out these faces. But maybe what we do is like, you know, the only time we wouldn't have soldiers active trying to find faces is when both Alpha and Bravo are fully infiltrated. So like, when we start now the next episode, we'll put two soldiers in here to try to find some faceless. Until a mission pops up, then we pull them out and send them in the field and put the engineers back in. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you guys next episode.